In computer science, cryptography refers to secure information and communication techniques derived from mathematical concepts and a set of rule-based calculations called algorithms to transform messages in ways that are hard to decipher. In the blockchain, cryptography is used to secure transactions between two nodes in the blockchain network. As mentioned above, there are two main concepts in blockchain cryptography and hashing. Cryptography encrypts messages in the P2P network, and hashing is used to secure block information and link blocks in the blockchain. As cryptocurrencies and decentralized finance, DeFi, are increasingly becoming mainstream concerns are being raised as to how to maintain data privacy and user sovereignty on public blockchains. Today we will investigate a network which is aimed at this concern. I'm Jennifer from KK Technologies. Let's discover the network which is a revolutionary technology that uses cryptography to unlock greater utility and usability for digital assets without needing to trust a centralized party. Threshold cryptography distributes sensitive operations across multiple independent entities, like nodes in a network, and requires a threshold or minimum number of those entities to cooperate for the operation to be successful. It is a merger of two projects, the Keep Network and the new Cypher. Both these technologies are involved in building sustainable and blockchain-driven privacy solutions for users. While both these networks have their own native tokens already, the goal of the T-Network is to allow smart contract access. Threshold will also, eventually, be able to manage encrypted data for users in a decentralized framework. The structural elements of the Threshold network are taken from the Keep network, which uses off-chain containers to encrypt, store, and transmit private data. These off-chain containers are known as keeps and are accessible to developer smart contracts without any compromise on user privacy or network transparency. This technology was tested with a positive outcome previously when it was used for TBTC, which is considered one of the most trusted Bitcoin BTC, bridges in DeFi connecting BTC to Ethereum. Running on top of the keeps are new Cypher's privacy tools, including its management of secret or sensitive information whereby it processes and encrypts the data without ever revealing it. The network can also grant and revoke access to sensitive information, thereby protecting it if any unusual activity is identified. Additionally, the Threshold network takes advantage of new Cypher's proxy re-encryption tools, which can safely and securely delegate decryption rights. Threshold cryptography distributes sensitive operations across multiple independent entities, like nodes in a network. For an operation to be successful, it needs a threshold or a minimum number of entities to cooperate with each other. This simple idea increases an information system's security and availability. It also reduces the reliance on trusted parties since no single actor can corrupt the system. Even if there are a few malicious individuals, the system will continue to function safely and correctly as long as a minimum number of participants follow the rules. To sum up, Threshold believes the demand is imminent in the next crypto cycle with the team envisioning their bridge architecture as the preferred method of bringing BTC to Ethereum. Additionally, the Threshold DAO is developing a stablecoin, THS, to complement TBTC with a compatible risk-off asset collateralized by TBTC. The team believes that THUSD could eventually support decentralized lending for real assets, such as a mortgage or car loans cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about the Threshold T? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button 